Hello again, Buster friends. Welcome to the review of the D style um D style Gunbuster by Kotobukiya. This was released in 2010 of December. Um and this is probably the first review of it on YouTube. Before I get started, I will have I will say that I've never seen the anime, so this is coming from a a point of view of just the model kit, not of its mobile suit design, uh, of its design or of anything about it. This is coming from probably one of the better points of view because I I don't even know the show so. Yeah. Before I get started with his articulation, I will just show you off his accessories, um, as he is wearing one right now. The accessories that he comes with is he comes with some, comes with two little tire treads that will peg into the bottom of his feet. I'm pretty sure these are tire treads, um, but they do have little spikes on them, so I'm not too sure. It could be all-terrain, like shoes or something. He comes with a little grenade that pegs into the hand. As you can see here, just by this has the hole and this has the peg, and then he comes with his d baseball bat, I think. Um, and I think the baseball bat uses the grenade to like it hits it and it goes boo or something like that. Um, once again, never seen the show. So that's just a wild guess. Um, and then he comes with more manipulators. So he comes with another. Um, grabby hand for the grenade, another closed fist, and then two like laser pointing hands. I'm not too sure what these are, um, so we throw the side. Then the final accessory is the one he's wearing right now, and it's his gangster pose hands, arms, things. I really like this one. I just think it makes him look so much cooler. So, um, that's probably my favorite part of this whole kit. Um, yeah. Right, so I'll just start putting back his normal arms on and stuff. You have to take his normal arms off. Just kind of a pain in the butt to get his gangster arms on. As it's very hard to put this back on to his shoulder. To put the plastic back onto the ball joint. Um, alrighty, now pick that there, and then, uh, you just want to put the shoulder, uh, elbows back on, just put them in peg to polycap, same with the other hand, peg to polycap, alrighty, so now let's take a look at his articulation, um, actually, before I do that, I should probably go over colors. Um, colors that you'll get on this kit are quite simple. It's not a uh, too uh, how should I say this? Too intricate color scheme. It's actually very simple. You have orange, dark gray, light gray, and then red and yellow. So the, yeah, that's pretty much all of the articulation that I mean colors that's on this, and there's no stickers because it's done by Kotobukiya, so they already painted and stuff. Alrighty, so now um, articulation. His head will rotate 360s. You just have to uh, watch out for these parts. Um, it'll look up quite far, down not too far, side to side some, and then it will do the chicken. Show you that. Okay, the arms will rotate 360. Go in, out, I guess, a bit. Um, can go up about that far before they pop off of the joint. Um, they rotate at the elbow. They bend at. Whoops! I'll get that later. They bend at the elbow, and then the wrist wiggles. Um, the reason why a lot of pieces are falling off is because it's just simple plastic to polycap, so it just tends to fall off. There's no articulation on his backpack. His waist has full rotation 
of three uh, for the 360. You can go forward and back, side to side. Um, yeah. All right. Now for front skirts and back skirts, they are both stationary, so don't think you're gonna get too much out of those. And side skirts are on little ball joints. His legs will go up about that far forward, that far back. Go. Um, in and out a bit, a, a, like a tad, where it'll pop off, like it just did. Um, all right, bends at one point at the knee, and then the foot is on a ball joint, so it'll go up and down and then rotate 360. Um, so, what do I think of this model kit? Well, from a point of view of never seeing this show, I think this model kit represents um, the Gunbuster alright. I've never seen it in action or anything, so I mean, um, that could be, um, it could it, it could be like way off or something, I, I don't even know. Um, one complaint I have is his tiny feet do make him a bit wobbly, but I mean, um, that's something you, sh uh, you can expect from uh, SD. Well, yeah. Now for the size comparison to a tin of pop, um, you can see that he is a bit shorter. You do expect that, and if you are into Gundams or anything like that, uh, here it is compared to a Gundam high grade. Yeah. Um. Also, I bought this guy for about thirty dollars. That's about the price you should pay. Um. In Japan, I know it's about eight. Uh, 20,000 yen that you're paying for this so um, $10 shipping isn't bad um, you're getting all that you paid for and more he's perfect in every single way I find uh, my only complaint might have to be the joints but I mean uh, it's my first attempt at a D style kit so um, I'm quite surprised I'm pleasantly surprised with the quality and um, and my first um, attempt at a Kotobukiya kit itself. Um, so yeah. Um, another thing I'd like to point out is that these shoulder pads can kind of be loose sometimes, but uh, yeah. Um, if I didn't mention these shoulder pads, can go forward and back like that. This one's kind of loose, but um, I don't really care. He'll just be posed on top of my bookshelf, looking awesome in his gangster pose. Yeah, so this has been my review on the no non-scale or no-grade Gunbuster from the series Gunbuster. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment below saying what you liked. And if you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like so I can improve on it. So this has been my review on the non-scale Gunbuster. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.